Vancouver is one of the world's most desirable place to live. This major Canadian city is beloved by visitors and locals alike, featuring incredible scenery, myriad activities, abundant nature, and diverse culture. There are so many ways to explore the city's delights, whether by foot, bike, public transport, or a Vancouver car hire. Here are some of the best places to visit in Vancouver. Number 8. Naitobe Memorial Garden The Naitobe Memorial Garden honors Japanese author, educator, diplomat, and politician Naito Binatsu, and is one of the most authentic Japanese gardens outside of Japan. Carefully cultivated to provide year-round beauty, the garden is especially photogenic in spring and fall when colorful cherry blossoms and maple leaves brighten the tranquil pathways. The garden has been the subject of more than 15 years' study by a UBC professor, who believes that its construction hides a number of impressive features, including references to Japanese philosophy and mythology, shadow bridges visible only at certain times of year, and positioning of a lantern that is filled with light at the exact date and time of Naitobe's death each year. Number 7. Queen Elizabeth Park Queen Elizabeth Park is the highest point within the city of Vancouver proper. Its 52 hectares of parkland are covered with flowers, gardens, and trees. At the top of Queen Elizabeth Park is the Bloedel Conservatory, plus exceptional views of the city and North Shore Mountains. The park is free, but you have to pay for the conservatory which is full of birds and plants. One of the highlights of the park, in addition to the Bloedel Conservatory and views of the city, are the Quarry Gardens. Similar in some ways to the famous Sunken Garden at Butchert Gardens in Victoria, the quarry gardens at Queen Elizabeth Park are both beautiful and on the former site of a mining rock quarry. Number 6. Capilano Suspension Bridge Featuring bridges through trees and over a canyon, North Vancouver's Capilano Suspension Bridge is one of the Lower Mainland's top tourist destinations. The world-famous attraction is open year-round. From around the third week in November until the third week in January, it's home to the world-famous Canyon Lights Christmas attraction. In February, it's also home to Love Lights for the Valentine's Day season, and in October it's where you'll find Canyon Frights for Halloween. There are a number of totem poles and other pieces of West Coast indigenous art at the park. Most of the totem poles are authentic and made in the 1960s, including some by an Alaskan carver, but carved on site in North Vancouver. Capilano Suspension Bridge has a long history of First Nations art and educational programming. The original bridge was made in part by the work of local First Nations workers. Number 5. Canada Place Canada Place is one of Vancouver's best places to visit because of its views, interesting architecture, attractive promenade walk and convenient location. A number of events happen at Canada Place. This includes the International Festival Tastings, which are the largest of the many events which take place during the Vancouver International Wine Festival. Year-round, Flyover Canada is also located at Canada Place. Number, number 4. Stanley Park With its 400 hectares of parkland attracting close to 8 million visitors a year, it's no wonder that Stanley Park is ranked as one of the best city parks in the world. It's definitely an amazing place and it's free to explore. Some of the best places in Stanley Park include the Seawall, Prospect Point, Siwash Rock, Second and Third Beaches and the park's totem poles. Also, in the middle of Stanley Park you'll find the Vancouver Aquarium, which is another of Vancouver's best places to visit. Stanley Park is a great place to both walk and cycle around, and it's accessible by public transit. Number 3. Granville Island In the early 1900s, Granville Island was home to factories, plants, and sawmills. Things are a little different today. Granville Island is both a local's favorite and a huge draw for visitors. The Granville Island Public Market acts as a hub of activity, but it's also one of the city's most important cultural districts with theaters, artisan workshops, and craft studios. Housed indoors, there are endless rows of stalls that feature fresh produce, gourmet foods, baked goods, and seafood. For the food-focused, a walking tour of the market can be a great way to get an insider's insight. Outside of the market, catch a show at one of the many theaters on the island, 
browse an art gallery show, or appeal to your outdoors aside with a kayaking or paddleboarding tour. Number 2. Museum of Anthropology UBC's Museum of Anthropology is one of Vancouver's best places to visit for culture, history, West Coast First Nation artifacts and escapes from the rain. The Museum of Anthropology has an extensive collection of West Coast First Nations artifacts. It includes a number of impressive totem poles and other sculptures. The museum also has many artifacts from around the world. Among them are significant pieces from Africa and the South Pacific. Number 1. Gastown Gastown was Vancouver's first neighborhood and was named for Gassy Jack Dayton, a Yorkshire seaman, steamboat captain and barkeep who arrived in 1867 to open the area's first saloon. Gastown is recommended if you are in the area and are looking for a great restaurant or want to find a good gift shop for souvenirs. Gastown's most famous landmark is the steam-powered clock on the corner of Camby and Water Street. Built in 1977, the clock is one of only a few steam clocks in the world. Its original design was faulty and it had to be powered by electricity after a breakdown. The steam mechanism was completely restored with the financial support of local businesses as it had become a major tourist attraction.